Welcome to Blackest Widow Tarot. I'm your girl. I'm your host, Nadia. Nadia. And this is a reading for my Capricorns. Get in here, get in here. It's already off to a crazy start. So hopefully this reading is juicy. Right. Y'all, I come to you in prayer on the behalf of my Capricorns. Expose everything to me so that I can expose everything to them. Also, any energies or any entities that may be trying to harm me or dark this reading, I ask that you send them back to where they belong. Ashe. Love and light, abundance, and protection. Love and light, abundance, and protection. Love and light, abundance, and protection. Y'all saw how I didn't even have to blow it out? Somebody wants to humble you, Capricorn. Somebody wants to blow out your fire. Somebody wants to as well. Like, you got people who want it, want the worst for you. You got some people out here who don't want to see you no longer breathing. They don't like the fact that you have a natural spark about you, a natural fire about you. They don't like the impact that you have on people, the world, animals. They don't like you. Ooh, they don't like you. They don't like you. Ooh, they don't like you. What they mad at? Ooh, they don't like you. Come on, they don't like you. Ooh, they don't like you. What they mad at? Okay. Before we jump into this reading, just know that somebody from your past who is currently in a relationship is going to try to come back and make you a side piece. <laughs> what they think this is? This person think they're a Casanova. They think that they're Slick Rick. They think that they're the, the pimp name Slipback. Who? <laughs> anyway. What does Capricorn need to know and be aware of? What does Capricorn need to know and be aware of? What does Capricorn need to know and be aware of? Okay, now. Somebody from your past is trying to manifest you, though. But you know this person is a red flag. So when this person come hitting you up through text message, call, anything like that, plus decline on that funky ass. Okay, this person is going to be an Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius, a fire sign, or an air sign. There may be a Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius. And possibly, y'all, possibly, some of y'all out there are dealing with an earth sign as well. Taurus, Capricorn, or a Virgo. But I'm really picking up heavily on a fire sign, an air sign, trying to make their way back to you. But guess what, though? Guess what, though? This person is only coming around for an opportunity. They see that you're making it big in some type of direct in some type of area in your life. They see that you're doing better. And they want to they want to experience that with you. This person is either in a long-term relationship with somebody that is constantly that is honestly, neither one of the parties are happy. And it's about to they're about to split. And if this person is married, they're literally about to get a divorce or they're currently separated. This person like I said, they're not happy in their relationship and they want to come back to you because they see that you're happy. They see that you're doing good for yourself and they want to be able to experience that as well as experience the new you. This motherfucker, these people want to experience the new you, Capricorn, but they're coming back the same person from before. They didn't do no change, no evolving. Nothing. They're just a raggedy little duckling that you used to know. Someone that you used to know. So treat this person like a stranger because that's what they are. You don't know this person. You don't. You no longer resonate with this person. So they, not, they might as well just move on. This person's a liar. They're going to always be a cheater. They're a dog. And nothing makes them happy for long. They're flighty. The definition of a fire sign and an air sign. Very flighty. So even if this person did come back, I will tell you to send them back to where they came from. Because when they come back, they're going to pull out all the stops in order to get you to go on a date with them. Get them another chance. Talk, even talk to them. But honestly, baby, you already know the red flags. You already know this person ain't changed. You already know in this time frame, this person has done nothing but either get somebody pregnant or still be childish. So you'll honestly just be wasting your time. Plus, this person is a cheater. And most of, and probably some of them 
either one of the signs that I was talking about, they're going to come back already in a relationship with somebody that they're not happy with. So they're going to be making you a side piece, like I said. Like I said. So don't open up your heart to these people. And they want to know another secret they're going to be coming in. You want to know what they're going to be lying about other than the fact that they're trying to make you into a mistress, male or female, basically a side piece. This person is also going to be lying about their sexuality. Are you wondering, is this person bisexual? Yes. Are you wondering, is this person honestly just truly gay? Yes. So what, what, what type of commitment will there be? This person is non-committal as well. Even in a marriage, this person was cheating. Never fully there. Even in every relationship this person gets into, they're never fully committed. So, leave this narcissist where they're at. And do not allow them to gain any access to you, especially sexually. Because you know what's crazy? Either now or in the future, this person is going to have an STD, some health problems that you honestly don't need to be dealing with. But just know that these people are watching you. They're watching you move on with your life and do better for yourself. Just know that these people are stalking you. Some of y'all out there, y'all may have had an air tag put on your car. Keep that checked out. But expect this person to reach out to you, though. Expect them to reach out. Hmm. I say by the end of this week or next week. And for some of you all, I would say um, in the beginning of next month, around the first. Let's get you a hidden truth. The, this person's going to come back not available. Emotionally. Or just in general, they're going to have somebody already that they're trying to either get away from or I really don't honest, honestly, I really don't feel like this person is going to get away from that person. I feel like they have found somebody that tolerates their bullshit. And even though they may not be happy, they know that this person is somebody they can always have there. So they're going to be coming back to try to make you the side piece. You the secret lover. This person is waiting on you to hit them up or waiting on you to give them a sign like, watching their story or you know liking a post or you know respond or re reacting to a um a message like this person just wants to see if you care and then they're gonna try to come back in because this person honestly haven't they haven't let you go they haven't even let the thought of you all getting back together go but this person knows truly knows deep down inside that they're not a good person no matter how hard they try to become one but you know the truth that they do have to sit with every day is the fact that you were the best thing in their life that they lost or are about to lose if you're dealing with this person currently. No judgment here. Okay, we all make mistakes. But this is a lesson that needs to be learned. This person currently is burying themselves in work to forget about you. They're just trying to get their life together, you know, to be honest. But as much as they work for or towards a goal, it's never going to be completed because this is this person's karma to struggle in life, struggle in relationships, struggle with their health because they play with one of God's favorites like an idiot. <laughs> like I said, they know they're not the one for you and you know that too. So when they come back around, you know what to do. Get him that boot, okay? And if you're with this person right now, it's time to put your size 14 biggest shoes on, steel toe, and kick this person's right in their anus out their door, okay? Because this person is deceptive. They're, they're, they're just deceptive, baby. They are, especially when it comes to love. They love to play on people's emotions. Master manipulator. Hmm. Current love for my Capricorns. Current love for Capricorn. Current love for my Capricorns. Capricorn, if you're with somebody currently, you know, just know that you can trust this person. This is somebody that you were friends with first. This is how you're going to know who I'm talking about. I feel like this person is very, 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 very romantically involved with you. Like this person is smitten by you. And, you know, you want to know a fear of this person. This person sometimes fears, well, not even sometimes, they're always thinking about you leaving them. 
So if you were wondering if the person that you're currently with loves you, oh, they do. They love you a lot. So much so that the thought of you leaving gives them diarrhea, literally. Mm. Okay. New love for Capricorn singles. New love for my Capricorn singles. New love for Capricorn singles. New love for Capricorn singles. All right. Continue to love yourself first, Capricorn. Always keep yourself on a pedestal. And if people cannot meet you up there, do not, do not lower yourself to meet them anywhere. Okay? Know that you are in a league of your own. Know that you are top tier. And to get on that ride, you have to be top tier as well. Don't lower your standards because you're going to be lowering it to people too. To people like this. Bullshit. Okay? Also start let go of, letting go of control. Live your life, Capricorn. Stop trying to plan for the future all the time. Stop always thinking about the past all the time. Learn how to be present. Learn how to sit with what you already have and be thankful, be happy, thrive. Okay? Now, if you're wanting to date somebody new, you're going to have to put in that effort, Capricorn. You're going to have to be that aggressor. You're going to have to go after what you want. Because what you but because what wants you is always some player shit, always some bullshit. So you're going to have to know your worth and go after what you know you're worth, period. And once you do that, once you put your foot out there, out that door and you make an effort for not only your love life, but your career and your everyday life, you're going to get everything that you want. Now, just because you're single, and you may get bored, doesn't mean go back to somebody from your past. Because like I said, it's, mm -mm, they dirty, baby. Mm -mm, nothing from your past is safe to fuck with. I'm trying to tell you now. Because these people burning. Meanwhile, you're earning. You're growing. You're manifesting. You're, you're leveling up. And these people are being left in despair. Like I said, when the video, when the video first started, somebody wants to blow your blow out your flame. They don't like to see that, that how much of a winner you are. They don't like how, what impact you have on the world, that you have on people, that you even have on yourself. They, don't, they even hate the fact that, of how much you love yourself. These are people who do not need to be around you. These are people who love to hate you and hate to love you and will and will try to underhand you and backstab you because they're jealous of you. The jealousy is real. You got people talking behind your back, talking about you, keeping your name in, your, in their mouth, spreading rumors about you. That will definitely be debunked because the only thing that people are doing is bringing more traction to you. <laughs> Fools, I tell you. Give me some advice for Capricorn. Give me some advice for Capricorn. Some advice. Okay. All right. We got two stories here. Capricorn, if you're in a relationship right now, know that the person that you're with be scared, y'all. They be scared of the fact that you may be... You may have the potential of messing with somebody else, cheating on them, leaving them. Like, this person, they be anxiety real bad. Like, just just over the thought about you, right? So, if you're wondering if this relationship is worth something, you, I would say yes. But also, start reassuring your partner because your partner is literally in an anxiety-filled mess. Like, this person does get it also gets depressed too especially if y'all have arguments or a lot of if y'all have been having a, a lot of arguments lately this person is depressed and the reason why they're so depressed is because they think they're gonna lose the best thing that they ever had a blessing they don't want to lose you they love you boo <laughs> this is literally your 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 your, your partner in crime y'all are meant to succeed together Stay together and work together. 
This person is not a player at all. But this person is sometimes scared that you are or that you may play them. All right? You don't got to worry about this person being an energy vampire, nor do you have to worry about this person being toxic or a manipulator or a gaslighter. This is somebody who the universe literally sent to you to pick you up and bring a new. Okay? This is your person, boo. They're just scared <laughs> of you. <laughs> and what you are capable of doing, what you may do, or, you know, they, they're scared that one day you may wake up and feel like you, you can just be, you're better off by yourself, that you don't want to be with them no more. This person be scared, y'all. They don't want to, they don't want to lose you ever, 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 ever. And that's a good thing. <laughs> that's a good thing. Somebody that appreciates you. Mm -hmm. Oh, and the um, second um, story was that basically you have somebody from your past, right? This person is trying to come back and reconcile with you. But this person is already in a relationship that they're not happy in. And they see that you're manifesting. They see that you're working hard. They see that you're grinding, that you're doing better, looking better, feeling better. And they're going to want to come in and be toxic, coming in with that toxic shit. Coming in, leeching off of you, mooching off of your energy, draining you dry so to the point where you can't even go get up in the morning and be ready to, to put out your best work. This person is going to be a cheater. Can't trust them for shit. They're going to be a hater when it comes to you thriving in life. They're not going to be your biggest fan at all. If anything, they're going to be right behind everything trying to make it fall. Be careful of this fire sign and this air sign and even a even a I would say even an earth sign if some of you all are dealing with one. This person, these people don't like the fact how hard working you are. They don't like how you're building for yourself. They want you to be like them. Me. Good for nothing. They don't want you to be a boss. The boss that you're meant to be. That you've always been. They want you to continue to be a worker. They don't want you to make it, baby. They don't want you. They don't even want. They don't want you to be yourself. They don't. They don't like how blessed you are. They don't. They don't like how. They don't like you. Let's just. Let's just be real. These people don't like you, and it's because of a reflection of the fact that they don't like themselves. Projection. Let's get you some tea. If your name starts with an N, you're very selfless, okay? So dealing with this person from the past, just know that they're a demon. If you're dealing with this person, they're a demon. Know that you're not supposed to take a chance on this person when they come back and try to reconcile with you. Because this person is going to want to start over with you. Don't you do it. Don't you do it because they're already in a relationship or a situation ship. And I'm 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 telling you because the cause never lie. They never lie. This person's egotistical self is a loser. These people are losers. And they're mad because you're not a loser. <laughs> Kid behavior. Let's see what your money gonna be looking like. We got stability. We got we got um infinite opportunities coming. Great success is surrounding you. Save your money because you never know what type of bills may be coming next. Continue to stand in your female as well as male power. Be that boss that these motherfuckers hate to see you be. Because you're a boss. Give me some more. Yeah, it's time for you to show the world who you truly are. Since everybody hate to see you, hate, hate, hate you so bad, give them something to hate. Because, baby, at the end of the day, you still go have bank, either now or in the future. And that's what people don't want you to have. They want you to be down bad like them. They want you to lose hope in life. <laughs> These people want to blow out your flame. They want you to give up. 
They want you to go insane. Mm -hmm. Check your pace, okay? Don't overwork yourself, but always wake up every day and try to get you, get you some type of goal finished. Start working towards something. Put your best foot forward, okay? Visualize the life that you want to live, and you go after it. Because what you're visualizing is what's making people hate you, okay? And for some of you Capricorns, you're about to get you a nice-ass car, and they really going to be mad. <laughs> With they mad ass. <laughs> oh, they really going to be mad. But anyway, Capricorn, this was your reading. I want to thank you all for the love and support and the donations that you all do send me. I appreciate every last one of y'all. Thank y'all. And if you want to find me on social media or get me on a phone call for a personal reading, everything will be in my description box below. I love y'all so much. Don't let these haters phase you. Don't let these weirdos come back and be able to touch you. Baby, just understand that God is about to bless you so much that the people that are already mad are going to be shit, shitty, spitting mad. But fuck them. Bye.